I will prove the sincerity of my affection, conquering myself today in what cost me most. When one wants, one can. Lord, I will offer you many acts of love in favor of priests and families. My father's passion for business and my mother's healthcare service inspired me to pursue a career path as a clinical pharmacy specialist. I always knew the University of the Incarnate Word would be a place I could achieve my goals, but I never could have imagined all the opportunities that laid in store for me, from scholarships to research. And now I'll be continuing my education at UIW as a pharmacy and MBA student. My name is Jacqueline, and I'm proud to further UIW's mission as a future healthcare leader. What do you call a local hospital that serves families from across the world? The first and only hospital in San Antonio, solely dedicated to the care of children and expectant mothers, grounded in faith and backed by a world-class health system. And what do you call a hospital that's so much more than a hospital? You know us as the Children's Hospital of San Antonio, but now we have a new name that better reflects who we are and the purpose we pursue every day. Introducing Christus Children's. I want to welcome all of you this evening to our time of caroling. Over the last several years, it's been a tradition that we gather before the midnight mass to thank God for the many blessings that God gives us. And we know that there is a great gift of song that the Lord is giving us. And we have some amazing voices that are a part of our cathedral. And in many ways, they come together to, to celebrate. And tonight, we celebrate the birth of our Savior. So I hope that you'll enjoy this time together as we share the gift of song with everyone. Estamos reunidos esta noche porque sabemos que Dios es muy grande y Dios nos ofrece y nos da muchísimos dones. Sabemos que Dios nos da el don de la canción. Y esta noche empezamos a las 11 ahorita con canciones y reflexiones sabiendo que Dios verdaderamente nos ha dado muchísimo en esta noche que celebramos el nacimiento de nuestra salvación.
Hello, my name is Rachel Perez, and I'll be singing Breath of Heaven.
We encourage everyone to take one of our books. Our next piece is found at number 308. O come all ye faithful.
third and high. Angeles cantando está. We are going to alternate Spanish and English. We'll start with the first verse in English, second verse in Spanish, and so forth. <laughs> Child of the Poor, number 318. Oh, 
Our next piece, Hark the Herald Angel Sings, number 305. <laughs>
nacimiento. Oh Dios Padre nuestro, que tanto amaste al mundo que nos has entregado a tu único Hijo Jesús, nacido de la Virgen María, para salvarnos y llevarnos de nuevo a ti. Te pedimos que con tu bendición estas imágenes del nacimiento nos ayuden a celebrar la Navidad con alegría y a ver a Cristo presente en todos los que necesitan nuestro amor. Te lo pedimos en el nombre de Jesús, tu Hijo amado, que vive y reina por los siglos de los siglos. Amén. favor de sentarse.
joining us at our carols. We're going to take a five minute break to prepare for our mass. And we hope you enjoyed singing with us. Thank you so much. As we gather this beautiful night to celebrate our Savior, our Lord, God, who took flesh to save us. Venimos a celebrar a Cristo Jesús, nuestro Señor y Salvador, el Salvador del mundo. Sabiendo que donde Él nació, esta noche es totalmente oscuridad. Por el sinsentido de la guerra. The darkness in Bethlehem where Jesus was born as a consequence of the war. Not only he was rejected then, but has been rejected now. A place that should show joy, light, life, and hope. But we know that our Savior lives. Let us please kneel as we pray for all those brothers and sisters in the world, but especially in the Holy Land. where our Savior was born. Y pidamos por el don de la paz que solo Dios puede dar. May God, in his mercy, give us the peace that only he can give. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven.
Él está en nosotros. Y nosotros lo celebramos porque estamos con Él. Please stand. The 25th day of December. When angels beyond number had run their course. From the creation of the world. When God in the beginning created heaven and earth and formed man in his own likeness. <laughs> When century upon century had passed since the Almighty set his bow in the clouds after the great flood as a sign of covenant and peace. In the 21st century since Abraham, our father in faith, came out of Ur of the Chaldees. In the 13th century since the people of Israel were led by Moses in the exodus from Egypt. Around a thousand years since David was anointed king in the 65th week of the prophecy of Daniel. In the 194th Olympiad, in the year 752 since the foundation of the city of Rome, in the 42nd year of the reign of Caesar Octavian Augustus, the whole world being at peace. Jesus Christ, eternal God and Son of the Eternal Father, desiring to consecrate the world by his most loving presence, was conceived by the Holy Spirit. And when nine months had passed since his conception was born of the Virgin Mary in Bethlehem of Judea and was made man. The nativity of our Lord Jesus Christ according to the flesh. Choice number 303.
the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. La paz del Señor esté con todos ustedes. Esta noche celebramos el misterio del amor de Dios por cada uno de nosotros. Jesús se hizo carne para salvarnos y sabemos su historia. And we know that he came to us to save us and took flesh of the Blessed Virgin Mary. Let us now, in humility, let us pray to open ourselves to understand that mystery of God's love for us. Que Dios nos ama, y nos ama mucho, mucho, mucho. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts, in my words, in what I have done and what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore I ask, Blessed Mary, ever-Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me, the Lord our God. El Señor Todopoderoso tenga misericordia de todos nosotros, perdone nuestros pecados y nos lleve a la vida eterna. Amén.
Let us pray. Señor Dios, que hiciste resplandecer esta noche santísima con la claridad de Cristo, luz verdadera, concede a quienes hemos conocido los misterios de esa luz en la tierra que podamos disfrutar también de su gloria en el cielo. Por nuestro Señor Jesucristo, tu Hijo, que vive y reina contigo, en la unidad del Espíritu Santo y es Dios por los siglos de los siglos. A reading from the book of the prophet Isaiah. The people who walked in darkness have seen a great light. Upon those who dwell in the land of gloom, a light has shone. You have brought them abundant joy and great rejoicing, as they rejoice before you as at the harvest, as people make merry when dividing spoils. For the yoke that burdened them, the pole on their shoulder, and the rod of their taskmaker, you have smashed, as on the day of Median. For every boot that tramped in battle, every cloak rolled in blood, will be burned as fuel for flames. For a child is born to us, a son is given us. Upon his shoulder, the minion rests. The name, they name him Wonder Counselor, God Hero, Father Forever, Prince of Peace. His dominion is vast and forever peaceful. From David's throne and over his kingdom, which he confirms and sustains by judgment and justice, both now and forever. The seal of the Lord of hosts will do this. The word of the Lord.
de la carta del apóstol San Pablo a Tito. Querido hermano, la gracia de Dios se ha manifestado para salvar a todos los hombres y nos ha enseñado a renunciar a la vida sin religión y a los deseos mundanos para que vivamos ya desde ahora de una manera sobria, justa y fiel a Dios en espera de la gloriosa venida del gran Dios y Salvador, Cristo Jesús, nuestra esperanza. Él se entregó por nosotros para redimirnos de todo pecado y purificarnos a fin de convertirnos en pueblo suyo, fervorosamente entregado a practicar el bien. Palabra de Dios. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke.
In those days, a, de a degree went out from Caesar Augustus that the whole world should be enrolled. This was the first enrollment when Quirinus was governor of Syria. So went to be enrolled, each to his own town. And Joseph too went up from Galilee, from the town of Nazareth to Judea, to the city of David that is called Bethlehem, because he was of the house and family of David, to be enrolled with Mary, his betrothed, who was with child. While they were there, the time came for her to have her child, and she gave birth to her firstborn son. She wrapped him in swaddling clothes and laid him in a manger, because there was no room for them in the inn. Now there were shepherds in that region living in the fields, at keeping the night watch over their flock. The angel of the Lord appeared to them, and the glory of the Lord shone around them, and they were struck with great fear. The angel said to them, Do not be afraid, for behold, I proclaim to you good news of great joy that will be for all the people, for today, in the city of David, a Savior has been born for you, who is Christ the Lord. And this will be a sign for you. You will find an infant wrapped in swaddling clothes and laying in a manger. And suddenly, there was a multitude of heavenly hosts with the angel, praising God and saying, Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace to those on whom his favor rests. The Gospel of the Lord. Tonight, we celebrate our Savior's birth. And so, the best expression for tonight is Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Feliz Navidad. Feliz Navidad. I would like to invite the parents, father or mother or both, that they have babies to come forward. I know there is one there for sure. The other one there. There is another one here. There is another one there. Sure. Come. Come, come, come. That's all right. Let her sleep. Okay. And 
turn around, turn around, turn around, turn around, turn around. She needs help. And your babe in the womb. Beautiful, beautiful. So we want to be closer. Oh, another one. Oh. Beautiful. The closest that we can be to what happened in Bethlehem is to contemplate these little ones, including the one in the womb. That's truly the closest that we can connect with Christmas night. What is the name of your daughter? Juliana. Juliana. Uh, Annalise. Annalise. Yeah. Sophia Celeste. <laughs> Elizabeth Grace. Elizabeth Grace. Melody. Logan Hezekiah. Logan Hezekiah. Jimmy? Okay. Um, Okay, Josiah. <laughs> Believe me, that was what happened in Bethlehem. <laughs> the same thing. No. <laughs> Thank you for helping us to celebrate Christmas, celebrar la Navidad de una manera tangible, de una manera tan real. Feliz Navidad and Merry Christmas to you. God bless you. Oh. <laughs> I don't know what happened, but it worked. <laughs> In the reading of the Gospel, we find at least two elements in common between the scene of the birth of Jesus and that of the announcement to the shepherds. Both parts of the story highlight each other. In both cases, the living figures are humble and they are away from home. Being God, the Son not only wanted to be human, but he wanted to be born destitute. He wanted to be treated like hay and be placed in a manger, like food for the sheep. 
In mysterious ways, God allowed for Mary and Joseph to suffer uncertainty, scarcity, and danger, through which their trust in God shone forth. Together with the shepherds, the Holy Family offers us a great example of humility and detachment, two fundamental elements for us to live Christmas spirituality. The angel announces the birth of the Lord to the shepherds, sleeping outdoors on the outskirts of the city. Apparently, he established residence on Bethlehem that did not receive the same invitation. Indeed, the shepherds were very much in tune with the humility and poverty of Jesus. They were not captives to their situation, but free. They were free shepherds. Those who were enjoying the warmth of their homes would probably not be so willing to leave their comfort, to go out to a stable to praise a baby. And those who thought themselves wise and important would probably not recognize the Son of God in a baby. Necesitamos la libertad de los pastores que no temían ser vulnerables a la intemperie porque confiaban en la protección del cielo. Junto a ellos en la periferia de la sociedad estaban también los enfermos mentales, los leprosos, los ladrones y todos los que estaban en la prostitución. Su olor a oveja también los excluía de los eventos sociales porque olían mal. I'm sure you know what that means. You have been close to someone that, oh my God. Por eso no rechazaron una invitación a adorar a un bebé que había nacido en un establo. Pudieron apreciar los gestos de ternura y de cariño que ellos correspondieron. Detachment from all creatures gave Jesus the freedom to proclaim the good news to the poor from the very first moment with his very life as well as to proclaim liberty to the captives, recovery of sight to the blind, and freedom to the oppressed without being copped by those in power, by those who think that they know everything, by those who believe they have the answer to every problem. Jesus made himself available to everyone, everyone, to all. Ultimately, he was executed outside the walls of Jerusalem, thus underlying his condition from which he opened his heart to all humanity. So, 
If you are for all humanity, get out. Vas a morir afuera de la ciudad. Porque si amas a todos y a todas, si le das la bienvenida a toda persona, get out. Mary and Joseph invite us to be like the manger, offering God's tenderness a warm place to rest. Like Jesus, we too are called to put ourselves in the place of a straw to feed the sheep. We know also and must recognize that we ourselves are sheep in need of shepherding and food, and we, we must assume our responsibility as shepherds of one another. Maria and José nos invitan a ser como el pesebre, ofreciendo la ternura de Dios, un lugar cálido para descansar. Y como Jesús, Estamos llamados a ponernos en lugar de la paja para alimentar a las ovejas. Y también debemos reconocer que nosotros mismos somos ovejas, necesitadas de pastoreo y de alimento. Y debemos asumir nuestra responsabilidad de pastores unos de otros. Pope Francis has said, the child of Bethlehem is frail. Like all newborn children, he cannot speak, and yet he is the word made flesh who came to transform the hearts and lives of all women and men. This child, like every other child as we saw earlier, is vulnerable. He needs to be accepted and protected. And that's why there is Joseph, and Mary, the shepherds, and the Magi. Pidamos a Santa María de Guadalupe que también nos envuelva a nosotros en los pañales de su intercesión. May she help us to contemplate the mysteries of the nativity and imitate the virtuous examples of the Holy Family and the shepherds. Que encontremos la libertad, ser libres para amar, para dejar expuesta nuestra necesidad de Dios para que podamos responder a la invitación de reconocer y servir a nuestro Salvador en aquellos que son más vulnerables. May we find the freedom to expose our, ourselves to serve God. So we must respond to the invitation to recognize and serve our Savior in those who are most vulnerable. Amemos y adoremos más y más a Jesús. Let's love and adore Jesus 
more and more because he is the savior of the world. He is with us. And not even a war can take away from us the presence of Jesus who came to give his life for us and to save us. Por eso, con todo el alma y en nombre de todos nuestros familiares aquí presentes o en algún otro lugar, en otra nación, en las situaciones que se encuentren, no matter where are our family and friends, with them we say tonight, Feliz Navidad. What do we say? <laughs> Merry Christmas. I believe in one God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all that is visible and invisible. I believe in one Lord, Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before all ages, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, God from the name. Conversation with the Father, through him all things were made. For us men, for our salvation, he came down from heaven. He ascended into heaven, and he seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again with glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is adored and glorified, who has spoken through the prophets. I believe in one holy, Catholic and Apostolic Church. I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins, and I look forward to the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. Hoy la verdadera paz ha bajado a nosotros desde el cielo. Llevemos al Señor nuestras oraciones para que su paz reine para siempre. Para que la iglesia proclame con palabras y obras el nacimiento del Redentor con gran alegría para que todos lo escuchen y lo vean, roguemos al Señor. Te rogamos, óyenos. That the world may know of God's delight, for it is no longer forsaken. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Para que aquellos que luchan con la soledad y la tristeza durante este tiempo santo puedan conocer el amor de Dios de manera inesperada, roguemos al Señor. Te rogamos, óyenos. That our church community witness to God in proclaiming the hope that baptism in Christ offered to all, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Que nuestros queridos familiares y amigos 
juntos con todos los que han fallecido. Celebren con alegría la presencia eterna de Dios con ellos. Roguemos al Señor. Te rogamos, óyenos. For an increase in God's gift of vocation to the priesthood, the diaconate, consecrated life, and lay ministry, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Por aquellas intenciones personales que han quedado en lo íntimo de nuestro corazón y que elevamos ahora en silencio a Dios. Roguemos al Señor. Te rogamos, óyenos. Toda nuestra esperanza está en ti, que vives y reinas por los siglos de los siglos.
pray, sisters and brothers, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. Te rogamos, Señor, que la ofrenda de esta festividad sea de tu agrado, para que mediante este sagrado intercambio lleguemos a ser semejantes a aquel por quien nuestra naturaleza quedó unida a la tuya, el que vive y reina por los siglos de los siglos. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. Lift your hearts the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is, right and just. it is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For in the mystery of the Word made flesh, a new light of your glory has shone upon the eyes of our mind, so that our, we recognize in him God made visible. We may be caught up through him in love of things invisible. And so with the angels and archangels, with thrones and dominions, and with all the host of powers of heaven, we sing the hymn of your glory as with our end we acclaim. To you, therefore, most merciful Father, we make humble prayer and petition to Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord, that you accept and bless these gifts, these offerings, these holy and unblemished sacrifices, which we offer you firstly for your holy Catholic Church. Be pleased to grant her peace, to guard, unite, and govern her throughout the whole world. Together with your servant, Francis, our Pope, and me, your unworthy bishop, and all those who hold into the truth, hand on the Catholic and apostolic faith. and all gathered here today, whose faith and devotion are known to you. For them, we offer you this sacrifice of praise, or they offer it for themselves and all who are dear to them, for the redemption of their souls, in hope of health and well-being, and paying their homage to you, the eternal God, living and true. Celebrating the most sacred night on which blessed Mary the Immaculate Virgin brought forth the Savior for this world and in communion with those whose memory we venerate, especially the glorious ever Virgin Mary, Mother of our God and Lord Jesus Christ and blessed Joseph, her spouse, your blessed apostles and martyrs, Peter and Paul, Andrew, James, John, Thomas, James, Philip, 
Bartholomew, Matthew, Simon, and Jude, Linus, Cletus, Clement, Sixtus, Cornelius, Cyprian, Lawrence, Chrysogonus, John and Paul, Cosmos and Damien, and all your saints. We ask that through their merits and prayers, in all things, we may be defended by your protecting help. Therefore, Lord, we pray, graciously accept the oblation of our service, that of your whole family. Order our days in your peace and command that we be delivered from eternal damnation and counted among the flock of those you have chosen. Be pleased, O oh God, we pray, to bless, acknowledge, and approve this offering in every respect. Make it spiritual and acceptable, so it, it may become for us the body and blood of your most beloved Son, our Lord Jesus Christ. On the day before he was to suffer, he took bread in his holy and venerable hands, and with eyes raised to heaven, to you, O God, his almighty Father, giving you thanks, he said the blessing, broke the bread, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took this precious chalice in his holy and venerable hands. And once more, giving you thanks, he said the blessing and gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. celebrate the memorial of the blessed passion, the resurrection from the dead, and the glorious ascension into heaven of Christ your Son, our Lord. We, your servants and your holy people, offer to your glorious majesty from the gifts that you have given us, this pure victim, this holy victim, this spotless victim, the holy bread of eternal life, and the chalice of everlasting salvation. Be pleased to look upon these offerings with a serene and kindly countenance and to accept them as once you, you were pleased to accept the gift of your servant Abel the just, the sacrifice of Abraham, our father in faith, and the offering of your high priest Melchizedek, a holy sacrifice, a, a, a spotless victim. In humble prayer we ask you, almighty God, Command that these gifts be borne by the hands of your holy angel to your altar on high in the sight of your divine majesty, so that all of us who through this participation at the altar 
receive the most holy body and blood of your Son, may be filled with every grace and heavenly blessing. Remember also, Lord, your servants who have gone before us with the sign of faith and rest in the sleep of peace. Grant them, O Lord, we pray, and all who sleep in Christ a place of refreshment, light, and peace. To us also, your servants, who, those sinners, Hope in your abundant mercies graciously grant some share and fellowship with your holy apostles and martyrs, with John the Baptist, Stephen, Matthias, Barnabas, Ignatius, Alexander, Marcellinus, Peter, Felicity Perpetua, Agatha, Lucy, Agnes, Cecilia, Anastasia, and all your saints. Admit us, we beseech you, into their company, not weighing our merits, but granting us your pardon. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours, forever and ever. At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Señor Jesucristo, que dijiste a tus apóstoles, la paz les dejo, mi paz les doy. No tomes en cuenta nuestros pecados, Ve la fe de tu iglesia, ve la fe de tu pueblo y conforme a tu palabra concédele la paz y la unidad, tú que vives y reinas por los siglos de los siglos. Amén. Que la paz del Señor esté con todos ustedes. Y con su espíritu. Dense fraternalmente la paz. La paz sea contigo. La paz sea contigo. La paz sea contigo.
Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed.
by Jesus, I believe all that you are in the Blessed Sacrament. I love you above all things, and I long for you in my soul. Since I cannot now receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. As though you were already here, I embrace you and unite myself entirely to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Jesús, yo dirijo mis oraciones hacia el santo tabernáculo donde tú moras por causa de mi amor. Yo te amo, oh mi Dios, no te puedo recibir en la sagrada comunión. Ven hacia mí a pesar de todo y visítame con tu gracia. Ven espiritualmente a mi corazón, purifícalo, santifícalo, conviértelo para que sea tuyo. Señor, yo no merezco que entres a mi casa, pero una palabra tuya bastará para que mi alma sea sana. Amén.
Oremos. Señor Dios nuestro, que nos has concedido el gozo de celebrar el nacimiento de nuestro Redentor. Haz que después de una vida santa, merezcamos alcanzar la perfecta comunión con Él, que vive y reina por los siglos de los siglos. Ustedes pueden ver, as you can see, everything looks so beautiful. It's not true. There were many people who worked to help us to celebrate with dignity this holy night. We are grateful to the altar servers, to the proclaimers of the word, the ushers, the people who clean the church, our sisters and brothers who help us to praise the Lord in, in music. Before, yes, we hear you. <laughs> Before the Mass and during the Mass. So to all of them and to our priests and our deacons and MCs, let us express our gratitude to them. The answer is, Amen. Bow your head for the blessing. May the God of infinite goodness, who by the incarnation of his Son has driven darkness from the world, and by that glorious birth has illuminated this most holy night, drive far from you the darkness of vice and illumine your hearts with the light of virtue. Amen. Amen. May God, who willed that the great joy of his son's saving birth, be announced to shepherds by the angel, fill your minds with the gladness he gives, and make your heralds of his gospel. Amen. And may God, who by the incarnation brought together the earthly and heavenly realm, fill you with the gift of his peace and favor and make you sharers with the church in heaven. Amen. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace, glorifying the Lord by your life. Thanks be to God.